Hey guys, welcome back and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to go ahead and talk about the Concordia Cemetery in El Paso, Texas. And the way I went ahead and found out about the cemetery was because I was watching Ghost Adventures, the Halloween edition, and they actually stopped by that cemetery and I found it completely interesting. The story about it, all the things they actually documented in the time that they were there was very interesting, very creepy and chilling. So I was like, why not go ahead and look it up and share some of the information I found with you guys. So the cemetery dates back to the 1800s. The actual owner of the cemetery went ahead and sold Part of the land. Among the people that went ahead and purchased the land was the El Paso City, the El Paso County, the Masons, the Odd Fellows, the Chinese community, the Jewish community, and the Catholic Church. Also six acres of the land was put aside for public burials. So in total that is eight different cemeteries. Some of the paranormal activity that you can go ahead and encounter in the cemetery is that you will hear a horse stomping on the desert soil and a lot of people think it's the ghost of John Wesley Hardin and he was a famous outlaw and gunfighter that died in 1895 and was buried at the Concordia Cemetery. In the children's section of the cemetery a lot of young bodies were put to rest that lost their lives to the smallpox epidemic and women actually say that they feel somebody pulling on their back pocket. A lot of ghost hunters say that it's the little children that feel very comfortable around the women and that's why they go ahead and attach themselves to them. Also in the middle of the kids section lies a white iron crib and a lot of women that pass by that crib. Oh shit, that scared me. Ugh. <laughs> So in the middle of the kids section lies a white iron crib that is the resting place of an infant and a lot of women that pass by that crib if they had a c-section they get this really uneasy really weird feeling right over where their c-section would be and that is super creepy like super super scary just to go ahead and feel a weird sensation over where your c-section will be another very interesting fact about the cemetery is that the notorious serial killer and satanic worshiper richard ramirez practiced satanic rituals in the middle of three trees right in the cemetery he actually spent a lot of time in that cemetery especially as a young boy his father was actually very abusive, very violent person. So to go ahead and escape his father, he would sneak out of his house and sleep in the cemetery. And that is actually where he started worshiping Satan and he started practicing the dark arts. Cemetery workers stumble upon satanic ritual remains all the time. They actually stumbled upon a cow's head, dead dogs and cats and they find weird objects all around the cemetery all the time. The satanic worshippers actually leave objects for people to find. So they tell the people that go on ghost tours on the cemetery if they find an object that's either behind a tombstone or on top of the tombstone to not touch it. Just go ahead and leave it alone because most likely it was left there by a satanic worshipper and it's there to cause harm to whoever finds it and touches that item. Some of the other things you can go ahead and find at the cemetery is that you will see dark figures following you around at night that you'll see them passing you by or you just feel them around you when you are in the cemetery and you will hear all these chilling and horrible noises and you cannot pinpoint where they're coming from. I hope you guys found the cemetery as interesting as I did. There are so many things you can find in that cemetery with all the ghosts running around, all the noises that you hear, all the black shadows, the satanic rituals that go around, all the dark energy that was left behind by Ramirez and all his rituals. And I really do hope that the spirits at that cemetery do find peace at one point. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed the video. So go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up. Comment below what you guys really want to see. Like I do want to know any video ideas and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.